So Kyle, um, big week for you, I'd imagine. A big week for everybody in the in the in the squad. Yeah, it's a massive week. Um, obviously, three point. We know three points will all, uh, guarantee us winning the league. So uh, personally, yeah, it's a massive ambition of mine, as you know, to get into the football league. One step away. Um, but let's not get carried away. We've got, we've got a job to do first, and uh, we know Halifax are going to be scrapping for their lives, so it's going to be a tough game. Yeah, you mentioned it's, it's your ambition. I imagine you've. You've gone to Wrexham, you've gone to Kidderminster and come close two or three times. Um, there have probably been times where it seemed a long way away. C- can you dare to dream now that it is in touch with this? Yeah, I've been dreaming for quite a while. I've been dreaming since Christmas, uh, as, the, as the missus will tell you. Um, but yeah, it's close now. I don't think I've ever been this close. Um, obviously, lost the Championship on the last day of the season with Kidderminster. It wasn't in our hands. Um, so, this is in our hands. And you know, if we do our job Saturday, then um, it's going to be a very, uh, very happy town. What would it mean to, to to you personally to to have finally achieved that ambition? Because I imagine it was something that's sort of gnawed away at you for the best part of a decade. Yeah, as to be honest with you, um, it would be massive for me and my family. Um, we've we've had some good highs along the way, um, but you know we've had you know, quite a few lows. Um, like you say, come close a couple of times, but you know it's never been. Um, you know, could have signed for a couple of clubs in the football league. It's never materialised um, either you know, through injury or. Um, you know, sackings of managers, etc. Um, so to to be finally this close, it puts a um, a lot of skeletons to bed. Um, if, if we do it, it'll be a very uh, very happy man if we do it. Yeah. Take you back to the start of the season when when Gary made you the second signing after Danzy. What was what was said to you about what the hopes were for this season? Um, win the league. <laughs> <laughs> that was the uh, you know that was that, that was the script. Uh, the gaffer said, look. You know, this club's come out of the football league. Um, you know, it needs to be back there. It needs to be back where it's belong. And um, you know, we we couldn't do a Luton, we couldn't do a Wrexham where we're in this league for you know a few years, five, six, seven. Look at Grimsby. Um, you know, still trying to get out of the league. It's a very tough league to get out of. Um, and we've got a chance Saturday to uh, put that to rest early doors. So uh, let's hope we can take it with uh, both hands and move on to the football league. Take you back to the the Grimsby game. Um... Obviously, you pulled up with the injury. That looked a very painful one oh. because not a lot keeps you off the pitch. Mm. Yeah, it was a painful injury. Um, I had a back issue for about a week before that. Uh, we maintained it for a training and uh, got me through the uh, the periods I needed to get through. And um, obviously, with painkillers, etc. Um, but there was going to be a time where obviously it, it was it was going to happen. And unfortunately for me, it was the Grimsby game. But I thought that night the um, the lads stood up and they were counted. Uh, I thought Harry Powell was magnificent. Um, you know, if it was ever in doubt his leadership qualities that night, then uh, you know, like, like I said, he, he, he sure put um, put them to bed. He, he really stood up and he was counted. He took the game by the scruff of the neck and you know drove the team on. And uh, you know, all the lads stood up, stood up as well and took the three points. And I thought it was a very deserved victory. Does that show the strength of the squad? No Dylan Phillips, no Aaron Downs for all but thirty three minutes. No Carl Story. And everybody stood up to mm. to put in a, a performance. Yeah, massively. Um, because we, we, obviously, when we lost Downsy, it was a big blow to us. And obviously, Dills went at Eastley. I think it just shows the character throughout the season. You know, whether, whether obviously I I didn't play against the Greens for for thirty three minutes, and but for most of the season, we obviously lost Downsy and lost Dills, Morgs as well. They're big characters and big players for us. Um, so for the lads that are coming, um, I Dicky, Cameron Burgess, them sort of players. Um, Holman at January, you know, his fine forms continued. Just shows the character we've got for the, throughout the squad, and uh, you know, they're a great bunch to work with. Is it easier now that you're in touching distance? I think the the Geisley game was always going to be a tough one, but you, you just seem to, in that last ten minutes, realise, okay, this is another chance, and let's just get the job done. Yeah, it was. It was a it was a tough game because we was in control for you know almost the whole ninety minutes. Um, it was very frustrating. We didn't take a chances when we did, and you're just thinking during the game. You're thinking, is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? Um, and the gaffer said all week, he said a set piece will win you the game Saturday. Um, so we were concentrating in training, and you know, in the week on a set pieces, and you know, uh, thank God, it, you know, it was a set piece, and Dicky come up trumps um, like he has done for quite often this season. And, all, in the uh, del- all in the delivery there, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Dickie's having that. He's having it in the header. Uh, but I'll have a de- delivery yeah, all day long. Uh, but it was a fantastic header. Then, obviously, uh, great bit of skill by Dickie for the second goal and went on to win the game. So, uh, it was pleasing 2-0 victory and obviously the result elsewhere was uh, even more sweeter. You're a football stats man. Uh, when the final whistle goes on Saturday, if Cheltenham have won, are you going to want to know the Forest Green result no. before you celebrate? Job's done.
<laughs> the job's done. If we win, job's done. Um, unless unbelievable turnaround in scores and fortunes, then if that's the case, I'll be going straight to William Hill and asking him why, what's <laughs> happened there. So, um, yeah, if we win, then um, that's us back to the Football League. So, fingers crossed for three points.